brothers and sisters. We are the chaplaincy committee here today, and we're dying here with our brothers and sisters that are on the strike, that are on the picket line here in Bowling Green, Kentucky. We just want to say that the chaplains throughout America right now are praying for our brothers and sisters across the United States. We're here in solidarity, not only just to lift them up, but to lift these uh, brothers and sisters up down here in prayer. So this is one of our chaplains here, Patrick Klein, and he is the chap uh, chair right here at the Bowling Green uh, plant. And we're here down here supporting them along with our building chairman, our president. So we just want to say that solidarity, is me it means exactly what it means. Working together, coming together. And I believe that God is going to settle this contract. God is going to do it. And God has a timetable that he's going to settle this contract for our brothers and sisters. We're looking for equality. We're looking for fairness and we're looking for justice. We want to say to you, brothers and sisters, that this will be forever and grafted in the fabric of the UAW. This is history making right here, that we're down here supporting. Our TPTs and those that are coming behind us will never forget this. So as our president, Gary Jones, is calling for Solidarity Sunday across this country, and we're here to support that. So God bless you, brothers and sisters. Solidarity forever and hang in there. Don't give up. God bless you. Okay. Show you how evil uh, some of these companies are about profits. Uh, they're at what, about $2 billion they've lost? 2.1 ish. Yeah. They could have already costed the agreement. Instead, they want to stay out and, and try to make us hurt. I truly think they want to try and break us. Now, I don't want to speak for your president, uh, but that's just my opinion. I truly think that uh, uh, John Q., rich man, owners, CEOs, I really think they want to break us across the board. And we're the last. There's, there's nothing after us. Then that race to the bottom running for the cheese is going to really happen. And then we're going to cut each other's throats, right? So it's just, it's sad, but they're coming after us. Uh, and we got to hold together. Right. It's, it's hard. It's easy for me to say, harder for you to lose your houses or, you know, apartments or wherever you're at. But uh, if something happens, I got I got a camp where you can come stay at my house. <laughs> I'll, I'll feed you and clothe you, whatever. So I love you. I appreciate what y'all are doing. Uh, it's got to help us too, but in the end, uh, we almost really have to sit down and thank each other and thank the good Lord for our opportunity to have another day. Uh, but right now, it just don't look good, especially with the letter. You know, they're they're trying to break us. Right. If you cannot be broken or you put your uh, arm, you know, or a hedge of protection around your neighbor or another person in the plant that needs help, do it.